right there. Uh, so you can see major resistance from here, here, and here as the market is coming down. But I think if the market can break through that, if the pound can break through that, uh, we're looking at a, a very decent sized move on the way up. Uh, come on in, precious. Um, oh, that's my little boy. Um, yeah, he just got a, uh, a load of books in the mail. We've got a anyway. Um, <laughs> so 245 would be right here. Uh, again, uh, this this is something that I would not run on autopilot uh, because of the resistance in this area. But I think long above 2.0445 uh, with a 37 pip stop. That of course is going to is going to get you out just above 400. Uh, 400 being this area here. You've got some lows in this area. Uh, the only other option would be to stop out with about a 55 pip stop, and that'll take you on the, completely on the other side uh, down around this area. The basic thinking there would be, hey, if the market turns around and it goes past all those areas, uh, that sucker is definitely turning around. Uh, but you can see this is a bit of a difficult area to trade into. And the market's just not giving us an easy shot here. Remember I was talking about a break above these uh, these highs here. Hopefully we would get the market coming back down into this 350 area. Uh, and I had a sneaking suspicion that the market pressure would, would uh, affect the lows. And it looks like that's, what ha that's what's happening. Um, having said that, I think if there is a momentum move to the upside, I'm going to go back to a 240-minute bar. If there is a momentum move to the upside and this high is violated, we've got to keep our eye on this 650 level. Uh, so as the market is breaking to the upside, it's, you're going to be, uh, I think, prudent to keep your eye on uh, trend continuation trades. Uh, watch for those pennants and flags on the hourly time frame. Watch for the market making, uh, for example, on an hourly bar, uh, a short-term volume spike. Watch for the market to go sideways. Uh, use a three bar reversal to get in. Okay, so what it all, what all did I just say? Uh, basically, when you see the market make a momentum move like this, uh, what you're looking for is the market to blow off volume and then use a three bar reversal on a 15 minute bar, uh, as the market goes sideways to get into a long position. Uh, so let's sort of talk our way through this. Uh, again, part of, remember I, I talk about the visualization process. Uh, I haven't really dealt with that very much uh, in these videos, but I'd like to talk a bit about it here. Uh, what I'm doing now is trying to line up the market. Uh, okay, right about there. Yeah, that's what I thought. That. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the get the uh, screen lined up. Sorry for trailing off on everybody. Okay, so here, uh, let me zoom in. Sorry about this. Okay, instead of uh, babbling in your ear, I went ahead and paused the video. <laughs> okay, so here's the move on the 15-minute bar. Here's the, the last 15-minute bar. Uh, you, can see, you, you can't really see it because the, the pointer's in the way, but there's the volume spike. Uh, so the, the last bar for the volume spike, uh, so the volume spike is right here. There's the last 15-minute bar of the volume. So as the market starts trading down, you're counting back three bars to uh, find a potential entry. So as soon as this bar closes, you're, you're trading basically above that high. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, back off here. So as soon as this bar closes on the 15-minute candle, you're going to start keying in on this high. And why are you doing it? Again, it, we've, it helps to have an idea behind what you're doing. Why are we even looking at going short, or I'm sorry, going long above that high? Well, if we look back uh, here on the daily bar, all of this is going on here and here as the market is pushing up. 